definitely a very big important step in their development. Um, what we've been able to do back home now with the facilities at the NCC is to be able to recreate some of the turning, spinning conditions with our different pitches. So it's given them a little taste of what it's like to um, have uh, spin as being the, the predominant uh, force. They want to be able to you know, see if the skills that they've got ready for um, in Australia actually hold under pressure over here. For batters, you know, can they sweep, can they pick length, um, how much is it going to turn, um, how am I going to play um, for the quicks, what length do I need to bowl, how am I going to look after this ball, will it swing, you know, what am I going to do when the ball gets soft. Uh, and for the keepers, you know, it, it's, it's turning, you know, what do I need to do with my skills in regards to staying low and, and, and it's, you know, it's going really big, you know, how, do, how does, how does my, my basic skill set react over here. So they've all got different things uh, that they're, they're, lo they're looking for in the skill department. But the other big one, how am I going to learn to survive over here day in, day out? Different foods, different places, and I'm a place that as soon as someone knows that you play cricket, they want to ask a, a, a hundred questions of you. They, they, they're passionate, they want to take a photo with you. All those sort of things go into what they're trying to get out of this trip. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it wasn't too exciting uh, as a pace bowler to, to see they were pretty dry and dusty. Um, but once you got the new ball in the hand, it, it swung a little bit, but that was um, short-lived because once the shine gets off the ball, it's, uh, yeah, it makes it pretty tough for, for bowlers. Uh, it's been pretty big culture shock. It's interesting to see outside the hotel how things are really go on in India. Saw five people on a motorbike on the way here. That was first first shock, but um, it was a good training session today. It's pretty hot, and pretty humid, but it was good to get into it. We had a good good bowl, good bat. There's plenty of Indian bowlers here to help us out, so it was, it was really good fun. Um, I think just putting into practice uh, what I've been working on back home. Um, I think, and, and just figuring out different types of like scene positions of what helps for me here, back home and over here. So that's probably what I've been trying to get out of it. Um, and with my batting, just learning different ways to score against spin, not sort of being a sitting wicket. Um, whether that's sort of sweeping or using my feet, that was probably the main thing uh, for me, what I wanted to get out of it over here. A lot more sweeping than usual. Um, I think that's, that's sort of a mode of survival over here, playing with a, with a cross bat. Um, but I think you just got to play the ball really late here and um, look to hit square of the wicket. Um, but yeah, it's all, you learn all this stuff from spending time out in the middle, so it's good to, good to get a bit of that over the last two days. Coming over here with some guys, uh, potentially, well, who hadn't been here before, um, it's been a great experience. Um, you know, to, to get on um, great facilities here at MRF um, and, and be on really good nets with both wickets that go through nicely and, and, and then wickets that spin has been a great experience for the boys and then to be able to play uh, two games, one two day game on a wicket that's um, very foreign to our boys, um, you know, it's spun a lot. Um, tough for the batters and obviously tough for spin, spinners as well to be able to learn how to bowl on those sort of wickets. So, uh, it, it's been, uh, to me, it's, for me it's been a great, great trip and just talking to the guys, I think they've benefited um, you know, um, a lot from experiencing um, what is India. Give them exposure, hopefully, as I said, hopefully these guys are touring here from an Australian team, hopefully two, three, five years time. Um, you know, so the, I think the, the sooner we expose them, expose them to these conditions, you know, when they do come back, it's, it's not so foreign for them. So, uh, you know, again, talking to the guys, I think they've really made, made the most of what, um, what they wanted to get out of it. Um, I just feel like um, I need to be positive, have good intent, um, not sit back and, and let the bowler um, dictate terms. I, I want to take it to the bowler a bit in India, but um, yeah, I've taken a lot out of it and it's, it's worked so far. Um, different things have, have, um, have come about, but I think when I'm being aggressive against spin, it's, it's, uh, it's worked for me so far. Geez, it's been great. Learned a lot, learned a lot about playing spin and, uh, and also fast bowling when the ball's reversing. Um, yeah, their bowlers are quite good in their conditions, so just learning how they sort of go about uh, what lengths they bowl, uh, you know, what type of spin they bowl and then how to play that also. Um, so yeah, it's been great learning experience and a couple of games have been really good. Um, 
and just learning how to, um, you know, how to put all those skills that you learn in the nets and stuff into action in the games. Hundred percent, obviously. Um, you know, would definitely want to be playing uh, Test cricket, and I'd love to have some some tours over there, Australia A, uh, or for the Test team. So yeah, it's very exciting um, to sort of get my first taste. Uh, but yeah, definitely want to come back for more. I think anyone who's in this program aims to play for Australia. Um, so I think just try and do everything that I can um, and work as hard as I can and then hopefully try and get that experience at the Australian level.